In this video, I'm going to walk through how to install Spark and the DLV solver to start running Answer Set Prolog programs. I've had to do this a few times, and uh, to be totally honest, I'm creating some of these videos just so I personally have a reference point uh, because uh, it takes me a little while to remember some of the steps. So uh, the very first thing we're going to do is download Spark and. Uh, you can download it from this GitHub repository, and I'll put the I'll put the link in the uh, show notes. So hit download zip, and that'll just take a minute. And the next thing we need to do is download the DLV system. And you see, they have one. They have two for Linux. They have one for Mac and one for Windows. We're on a Mac right now, so we're gonna download the Mac version. And there we go. So I will open up both of these in the finder and I'm going to drag them into our demo folder. So I'll grab DLV and Spark. We'll close out of this and now with Spark I'm going to unzip this. We actually only need one file inside of it. We just need the Spark jar file. So I'm going to copy that and paste it over here. Now with this DLV file, uh, this is the only part that's a little bit tricky. And I, I also apologize for my voice. I'm getting over a little cold right here. Um, but so to get this working, we actually have to convert this into an executable file. And so the way to do that is we're going to open up terminal right here. And we're going to do a sudo. And then we're going to change the mode, so that's chmod plus x and a space. And then we're just going to click and drag this bin file over here. Hit return, and it'll prompt you for your password. There we go. And it, done, it may not seem like it did anything, but it actually did. It just changed the mode so that it can run as an executable file. And now what we need to do is I'm going to CD into this directory. And uh, the easy way to do it is just to uh, click drag there. And now you can see we're in that directory. And what I'm going to do is to make this work, we have to change the name of this DLV file to just dlv.exe and you can see that's now an executable file in the system and so now we're ready to go so uh, we can create our first answer set prologue program so here you go vim test spark and we'll go with with a sort And with our first sort, we're just going to make it real easy. So go person, say Jordan and David, period, predicates. Uh, let's just say father. So go father and then go. Oh, sorry, it's a little syntax issue. I forgot, you have to put a pound sign in front of these. And then we'll just go person, and BIM is doing some nice autocomplete for me to save me a little bit of time. Okay, put a period, and now we'll go rules. And with the rules, uh, we're just going to say, let's see, just gonna say, Father, David, Jordan, and let's save it. And then to run it, all we have to do is do java-jar spark.jar, and then our file. And then we're going to do a dash a to get our answer set. And you can see right here it gave us the answer set. David is the father of Jordan, and if we wanted to do the same thing, we can uh, get rid of the A and run an actual query. So it'll ask us for a query, and so we'll say, let's see, father, 
X Jordan. And it says that X is David. So that's all working properly. So if you went through that, uh, you now know how to uh, build your first answer set prologue program and also how to install DLB and Spark.